All right. We are going to do some simming. So, uh, let's see the schedule. So we're going to get to week 16. We're going to get to the halfway point of the season before we're off for, in case you didn't realize that. So 144. Get to 168 by the end of tonight. So 168 is Knight's Stingers. Used to have something to write, but I don't anymore. Here it is. Okay. So we will gradually make our way through. We start with High Rollers and the Mythic. <clears throat> Whoops, wrong. Watch game. Go over to the High Rollers. This is all fine. McGregor County, Lloyd Hickman, Espinoza, <clears throat> Evans, Randall, Maloney, and Theodorus. Ball for the mythic. This Max Dupont. By same lineup tonight. <clears throat> okay. Play ball. Get the sim underway. Hit a whole bunch of buttons here. Oh, high rollers sneak out a low scoring one. Mythic fall to five <clears throat> to eight and five. High rollers move to five hundred at six and six. Singers and the moon shots. See Dora, but he did say to just keep on doing suggested lineups. We're fine here. Suggested lineup. That. <clears throat> A ball. <clears throat> Stingers win that one, five, three. Okay. Barely on our way.
all of these. <clears throat> okay, so Astros Area 51. Let's see Aggie Let's See him. So he's ever not here. Just always use suggested lineup. Faulkner. Okay. <clears throat> and then for Area 51. Buzzman back in here. Starting. Buffum. Chariot, Tamayo, Secret, <clears throat> Third, Wasman, Oh, you're here. Uh, I made those changes. Are you good with that, March? I kind of, I just made it your starting lineup. Traditionally, what you have in Discord as you're like starting. Interesting game here. Six and six, Area Fifty One, and the seven and five Astros. Astros looking to keep pace with the Serpents. I think they're just a game behind there. <clears throat> Got old Carson Faulkner. It's a strike. And 51s are going to take this one 8 to 1 quite heavily. And both teams will move to 7 and 6. Okay, now we got to figure out the Dragon's mess here. <clears throat> okay, so. What I think we're going to do. Is do what you suggested. Put Ward at DH because that's the only way he's gonna. Then <clears throat> try and get them back to, well, starting. They just did suggested. Okay, so we'll do this suggested line. Then. Substitute position swap him here. <clears throat> then put the catcher this guy who he wanted to have as the catcher as the out of position. So son of a bitch. Work with this for now. He's there, so he'll. <coughs> and on stars, okay, here's this. You know what you would like to do. Let's 
liste de droit. Hutchinson in The left fielder, number 27, Sierra Griffith. Okay. <clears throat> Big one with the Airy 51 win now. And the Dragons are going to stomp them. So 51, just a game back now. Dragons two games back. Switching over to Quacks versus High Rollers now. This all looks in order. This fine as well. A dragon sim record does seem to be strong. <clears throat> Excitement is in the air here at Red Rock Park. It's time for some baseball. That's time. <clears throat> now batting the center field, number two, Devin Larson. The big one, Quacks should be the first team to win 10 games this season. Hind, though, and the High Rollers will take this one. And they move to 7-6 and six and put the Astros down to third now due to the run differential. Which then in turn opens the door for, well, no, the Mythic loss, so let's regard that statement. Who's pitching? It's Overlord. Uh... <clears throat> So we need to do that. It's okay. Ward is now healthy. She can come back in. <sighs> Clop. Snell, Flynn, this needs to be Hoffman, needs to be uh, okay. For the Sonics. To suggest the lineup, Jake Cray Cray out. Shall get the ball rolling. Okay. 
and feel the energy rising here at Shaka Sports Turf. Those ready for some stickers. Let's go. Time. So Sonic's back to 500. Stop the losing skid with the upset over the Retrievers. Jump out to a lead here against the Sonic, against the Serpents, and win it. <clears throat> so now just a game back, High Rollers and Astros. Knights versus Unicorns here. What Terry for the Unicorns? Um, to bring this guy. This could be interesting. A chance for well, wrong fielders who are actually sitting in second place in this division after the Knights swept the. Lumberjacks last week really puts Lumberjacks in a hole in this division. Sonics, <clears throat> excuse me, the Unicorns will start off with a lead off double. Off the first pitch. So that, that other game moved the Sonics to above 500 again. But a game back in that... Oh, half a game back. The Unicorns take that one quite easily and move to only a half game behind the Cyclones now. And allow the wrong fielders, Lumberjacks, to make some headway here. I have already fiddled with this, so that's as good as it's going to get. Retrievers. <clears throat> Okay, Dudley is not tired, so it will be Dudley. And the Bombers find their first out-of-conference win this season. So far, 0-3 oh, <clears throat> on the year. Late. Four, five, seven, nine. And they do. Was not expecting that. I will definitely take it. So that makes it interesting. Walkers could be a full game up here. To five and seven teams, Skulls of Rock Storm. This looks pretty good for <clears throat> the Skulls. This. Ed and this for the Storm. Both teams really need a win. See who can grab it. Uh, this is a division game, isn't it? Storm and Skulls? I think it is. It is. And the Skulls will take it. Move to 6-7 and seven on the season. <clears throat> As we proceed, and here is that game I was talking about. Wrongfielders and the Walkers. So we'll 
It's fine. This is all fine. Okay. And then I will see Kawashi. What would you like to do here? They're suggested. Roll with it. Flip. Like position wise. You want Sawyer in the field? I thought you don't like Sawyer. Harris? <clears throat> French center field, Sawyer, left field. Okay. French center field, Sawyer left field. Harris DH. Good. Harris left field. Okay, I thought so. Okay, now are we good? Oh, you have Sawyer Harris and Millie Sawyer. That's really dumb. Ha! <laughs> Ah, oh, shit. Spilt. Baseball fans, welcome to Motor Yard. Spilt my drink. Uh, go shit. I'm just falling apart now. Oh my. And the Icons division is a three-way tie once again. And the wrong fielder sneaked to just two games behind the Knights now. Your team wanted to get to 10 wins just yet. <clears throat> Cyclones and the Express. Let's do suggested lineup to get there. Ball. Ball. I haven't been counting. How many have we done? I know where to stop, but I was just curious. Excitement is in the air here at Founders Field. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, okay, <clears throat> one more away from finishing the first set of 12. I was waiting for the Cyclones, too, or else they'll be tied with the Unicorns. Oh, wow. Oh. Comeback for the Cyclones. They remain 
on top in the Novas have the best RD in the conference. Bombers of all teams, second best RD, but in the basement of the division. All right. <clears throat> Dragons had two games this week. Uh... Oh, now eel soup is... Oh, yeah, okay. He didn't even go up a bar. Ugh, this could be... I mean, they're going to still win? <laughs> What's the thing? Is... Okay, hummus is there. So we'll figure that out. Um, I guess we just go, <laughs> go with it at this point. Um, okay, <clears throat> so... We need to switch over to more jacks there. Unless I see you're in the chat. Um, if you're here, let me know or I'll just to secondary lineup with Downwood being well. <clears throat> so we got Richards, George, Foundwood needs to go to DH. Gale needs to go to first base. Pearls, Wentz, Heck, Parmigiano. This becomes So I'll give you a couple of <clears throat> beats here to hear or not. Because he's on the sh he shows up in the stream audience, but on the Discord it shows that he's been so seconds here. And away we go. The dragons continue their simmed game dominance. Welcome back to Apple Field. See what Palacios does in his next start. See if he's still the strikeout leader once we get done with these blocks. <clears throat> oh my. Lumberjack's giving him a taste of their own medicine. And it's the winning streak for the Dragons. I think that was like three or four games in a row they had won. Okay, and so we're now on to the second batch. Third game, I think, for the high rollers. Um, but I don't think one up boy is here, so let's keep the status quo for the high rollers. Still one bar, so yeah, we'll keep that going. Diamond Jacks look fine, so we'll keep the ball there. <clears throat> Man, throat won't stay clear. Lights stinger is what I'm looking for. Late. Okay. 
Let's see. Dime, ooh, back and forth. The Diamond Jack Steel one. That's a surprise. Two here. Uh, that looks fine here. Just sucks. Just one second. Did not get it. Okay. It's time to say goodbye to Brant. Um. Just doesn't work, fortunately. It's a shame, too. Some good speed, distractor. I guess it's just the lack of power. She just can't hit the ball. Didn't see what the stingers were at. He seems like both like game away from five hundred. No, I think the stingers are eight and five. Dang it. On we go. Uh Marge, anything you want to change from this? Line up. Whoa, excitement is in the air here. Area 51 and the moonshots. Will be the moonshots. Basement game here. It's fine. Oh, my. Liberty. I think that makes two in a row. Basement dwellers in the heroic four ten four. Ooh, big game here. This could be for the division lead, or at least a tie of it. Um, Smiley is still. <clears throat> Let's make sure this matches up. Starting lineup, obviously. So this needs to be. Right field.
Donkey. Color. Fowler. Butts. Evans. Smiley. To get. One for the record books at Wacker's Wheel. It's time for some baseball. Horns out top early, and we'll take this one. They tie the division at the top nine five. Um, but 14 runs separate them on the RD side. Black Sonic's a big game here. It's fine for now. Ooh, James is going to be juiced. It's fine. Could be one for the record books at Shaka Sportster. Your glove ready and your cheering hat on. Yes. All right, Quacks, another opportunity. Can they get to win number 10? Ooh, big late inning, and they will. 10 and 4 on the season. Oh my, huge game here for the division. So Dudley is tired, we'll go to tire head. It's fine. Uh, do you want to line up refresh here? Washi. Okay, there we have it. Yes. Clear. Big one. So someone's going to have the lead. Someone will be a game back with the Sonics. See who it will be. Ooh, tie game. Extra innings win. Retrievers sneak it out. They will take the one game lead over the Walkers and the Sonics. A tight one there. Ooh, wow. Eight and five Monstars. Eight and five Serpents. Okay. We'll. Uh... Back to the Monstars. Blackman still here. Um, skull. Go with it as is. All right, and now we need to fix Serpents. 
Uh, Mauro is there. Cervantes is there. Left needs to be or Uh, Juliet Ward is back. Klopp is there. Let's see Snell and right. Kayla Flynn, Hazel Dean, Hoffman. Okay. Two eight and five teams, but a inter to inter to inter conference game. Oh, what am I doing? Pfft. Got two pitches there. Hurt. And the Serpents will take a slow score in one, two, nothing. Like skulls of rock. Um. Keep this as is for now. No one else's need of substitution. It's the same lineup. That's what's in there. So let's keep it as is since we don't have different. See him. So play ball. Ooh, Kent. So suggested lineup. Three more after this one. Uh, ooh, big there. Three run home run from Dupole gives the Mayfield the win. Keep a game back. And keep the skulls from gaining any ground on them. Five and eight Diamond Jacks, five and eight Storm. Suggested lineup. All fine there, and we are underway. Storm have kind of gotten a skid. They started off kind of hot. We're one of the hotter teams at the start, kind of flirting in that conference with the Quacks and the Mythic. Then have gone on a extended skid, but bounced back here nicely to six and eight on the year. I think the Diamond Jacks fall to five and nine. Ooh, uh, enter a, a big conference game here. It's fine. And then found what is healthy, which means we need this and this. At I think Jacks. <clears throat> George George found what ill hurls Wentz Peck John. Simulate. Let's see who wants to be second place in the division. 
Oh, Lumberjacks did. <laughs> Fairly matter-of-factly. And this is our last one for tonight. Uh, let's see. Still needs a game. So, like this. Suggested lineup research here. And the Knights join the Quacks with 10 wins. Stingers finally get some momentum going. Went against the Bombers. Sit at 8 and 6. I think. Yeah. 6 and 8. First pitch deep into center field. And that one is gone. Another fish first pitch home run. Five on the season for Hendricks. We'll come back. And, ooh, and the Knights take that one easily at the end. Stay three games up on the rest of the division. So let's see. Through 14. Is everyone through 14? Well, Astros are missing one. They're only at 13. Stingers are at 15. So yeah, everyone at 14 except for Stingers who are plus one, Astros who are missing one. So there's the standings. Astros a game and a half back. Cyclones, Unicorns tied for the division lead. Quacks a game up. Knights three up. Uh, Retrievers a game up over the Walkers and the Sonics and the Monstars a game up over Area 51. Your wild card standings. Bombers still holding on just barely to that final spot in the epic, thanks to the run differential. Sonic's last team in on the heroic side. A game up over the Dragons. 500 for the wild cards. 51 wrongfielders, walkers, lumberjacks, Sonics. The Knights and the Quacks leading the way on both sides. 10 and 4. Got two nine and five teams on the epic side, eight and six on the heroic side. And we'll go back, look at some league leaders. Noah Terry takes the top spot in the leaderboard. Knockmore, we're seeing a lot more pitchers. Astro Trific, up to eight home runs. Gossi Correa, 34 strikeouts for Bolt Chung. Correa leading the league in average, 467. Home runs, Trific with 8. And she retakes the lead in RBIs, 17, tied with Benjamin. Lots of Cyclones on that RBI list. On base, Castro and Correa. Slugging, Castro. Hits, Correa. Have butter behind her. Benita Lewis in extra base hits. Uber leading the way in offensive strikeouts. Run scored Correa. Faulkner plus five on the rest of the league. For him and Briggs Richards caught stealing quite a few times. Handful of guys and girls up to three wins. Knockmore at a .48 earned run average. Saves. Handful of people at three. Whip Duncan at points through a 73 and a 152 batting average. Strikeout chain pepperonis at 38. Palacios did not have as good of a start there. 33, almost a completely 30 board, except for these last four here. Frigate, Terry, Palacios, Chung, Young, and pepperonis. A pair of lumberjacks on this board. Strikeouts per nine, walks. All right. Well, that will do it for tonight, unless there's just something else you want to take a peek at. Um, I guess I can look at the schedule, send you what we're simming tomorrow night to get us to 16 weeks.
Okay, so 68, 16, 184, is that right? Oh, that'd be 12. 80. <clears throat> so 180. Stroh's Serpents. Shots Area 51. Unicorns, Cyclones, Walkers, Retrievers. Knights Quacks, that's a big one. The 10 win teams are going to go head to head. You might have to sneak that one in because that's just going to be theoretically a really big game. We'll see. Um, High Rollers, Sonics, Bombers, Diamond Jacks, Lumberjacks, Wrongfielders, Dragons Express, Cyclones, Monstars. Okay, and then we go 180 to 192. Let's see, in that block, another Astro Stingers. Uh, High Rollers Retrievers, Knights Dragons, Walkers Area 51. Bomber Sonics, Unicorns, uh, Astros. Interesting. So, very interesting set of games we have for the next two blocks. Next to Sim. But that will do it for tonight. Thank you all for understanding the schedule and being here and tuning in and i will catch you all tomorrow night have a good night everyone Bye bye